loved it. But many OGs know TJ. We've been friends for the longest time. Man, and it feels so good to see this guy. I'll tell you something has changed. Look at them gains. Look at them gains. Out there. Yeah, man. We wanted to come earlier, but I mean, we're just trying to get like real Mikey Cup fans out here, people. We're doing the Q&A. At the end of the video, I'm gonna announce the winner of the hoodie. TJ's gonna answer the first question. So I uploaded this picture. Once. How did you get into fitness? I got into fitness because I finished university. I wasn't happy with the way I looked. And I used to play soccer. I used to play striker in Brazil. I got into fitness because my girl from I was chubby. Uh, <laughs> and also I needed some focus after university to study in um, and going clubbing that would be a great mix for final year so I was trying to go to the gym and a few years later I got to the there we go <laughs> Is it possible to get laid in two months? Your answer, quick, quick, quick answer, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. yeah. If for a holiday, it's possible. Yeah. But for a competition, any less than like 10 weeks. It depends on your starting yeah. point as well. Like, yeah. if you're like really overweight, then no. If you're like only like 10 to 12 pounds over, you can drop that. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to like compete, any less than 12 weeks is kind of not enough. But if you want to, if you want to like lean down for a holiday, yeah. Six, yeah, two months, weeks. you can see a difference. I'm girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> you? You have a girlfriend? Me. This is pressure. TJ, well, start. Do you have a girlfriend, bro? No, I don't have a quote unquote girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend? Uh, me? <laughs> I, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. We just, we just hold signals. Would you? Fingers crossed that I make it back here to Emporium because this is an amazing place. Leaving the gym now because they're closing. We're gonna go to TJ's. Hopefully we'll be here for body power. Let's promise we're doing the Q&A. The picture was posted three hours ago and so far we already have 84 comments. Us three are gonna try and answer the questions. Before we go further into the video, TJ's link will be in the description. Bandon's link will be in the description. And you're gonna see us at different areas doing this Q&A. thing it's not too boring. So let's answer some possible questions so um would you ever leave medicine to be a full-time youtuber hell to the no i love helping people and it's my my dream as well and my mother's dream and like my whole family basically if I accepted to med school what career would you have chosen to pursue anyone that i could leave a mark and that would have to do with helping people so basic maybe youtube youtube could have been it okay for all of us i think this is a good question by andy hillocks what is the primary purpose of your youtube channel Let's start with TJ. Uh, mine. Just quickly, guys. Hold on, let that focus. Guys, as we're standing right now, TJ is at 9,300 subscribers. Do me a favor. Go on to his channel. Let's help him hit 10K. Let's make TJ get to the 10K squad. Back to the video. Uh, my main purpose is to entertain people and get them away from whatever's going on in their life. So, more or less... If you've got like a spare 10 minutes and you want to have like fun and joke and kind of distract yourself, watch one of my videos, that's the main aim. And hopefully motivate someone to not be too lazy and get off your ass and do some shit. Yeah. You? My reason, um, the initial reason that started my channel was just to have another social media form to plat like to post on. I'd never initially wanted to be a YouTuber. That wasn't like the, that wasn't the reason I started posting on YouTube. It was just like another social media platform to post on. But over the past year, I've realized that I've been able to live more through YouTube by creating relationships and things like that. 
and opportunities in life and when it came from an initial purpose of just doing something for me, eventually it became more about doing stuff for other people and in turn allowing me to live more. So the reason I'm still around doing YouTube is because I get to live more every single day because of it. Yeah. And for me basically is that I did my first degree and three years I felt like it was just a pause in my life. Just like I was just sitting, studying, sitting and studying and I can't remember much of those three years. So I felt that going on to YouTube was just another way, an escape for me. And look, it, it's, exa it's exactly what it is two years after. I'm now in Birmingham with guys I met over YouTube who I can now close, call my close friends. And that's what I think life is about and that's probably why I'm the happiest that I'm at right now. <laughs> One, a different one. Do you personally think? Okay, this is from his Histriano. 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 Yeah. Do you personally think that squatting makes you shorter, or squatting while a teen teenager can stop your growth? Okay. Um. Should I start? My yeah, simple you... answer is no. <laughs> no. Honestly, there's a big myth about how lifting stunts growth and stuff. Uh. I mean. <laughs> I can imagine it being somewhat true if you start lifting at like the age of 10 years old yeah. while your bones are so like they're still, like, they're they're still, still nimble, like, they're yeah. still really nimble, they're still really like flexible and stuff, they haven't really like grown to their full potential but I really think if you start lifting at like 14 years old you're not going to stunt your growth, yeah. you're not going to get shorter through squatting, you're going to get bigger legs, yeah. like that's just, yeah. TJ, a simple answer, yes or no? No. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm in Tesco. I'm gonna answer a few other questions. Um, one from it's Matt Lucas. Pl plans to move country after you graduate. I'll That's be going. Yes. <laughs> I'll be going to. I'll be going back to my home country, Namibia, and then I'll decide there. I'll decide from there. But man, I, I, I'm falling in love with the UK as I'm here, so we'll see. I told you get a townhouse, bro. What did <laughs> TJ said I should get a townhouse. Brandon, do you agree? Nah. Move to the UK. Imagine being a doctor in the UK. That'd be awesome. Sane1992 says, where do you see yourself in five years time? Five years time, I see myself graduated and still What's doing YouTube and recording it for you guys. What about you? Five years time? Yeah. Hopefully not working a full night five, five days a week. I want to definitely escape that. And hopefully at some point at least traveled. But me personally as an individual, I'd like to have my own sort of business. You're from South Africa. From Angelo Moquena. Yes, I lived in South Africa. I am not South African. I lived there three years. I studied at UCT. I lived there, yeah. But I am Cuban Namibian, actually. Question before we bounce. From X Maseko, my boy X Maseko, with, it, with this next big step in your fitness career, what have you planned next? That's a good one. Are you gay? Hey. Said to me earlier that he was planning on moving to Alaska and becoming a professional yodeler while wearing... <laughs> I legit thought he was serious. I, I thought, thought it was going to be something yeah, yeah. deep. While wearing nothing but leather. Um, he'll probably lie to you and say it was something different, but that's what he said earlier. That is legit what I said. <laughs> Leave it there. <laughs> Started, we're at the airport and I have to go quickly so me and Brandon are just quickly gonna answer these questions There's two more okay Brandon quickly the one question by Luis Blanco how old were when what how old were you when you started going into fitness I've always wanted to go to the gym ever since I was like eight years old there's always been something that I wanted to do but I wasn't actually allowed to do it until I got to a certain age so I started going to the gym just before I turned 16 years old, so pretty much at the end of high school. But yeah. For me, it was 21. <laughs> a path of Jeezy. Mike Diamonds, Brandon Harbody. If you had a day not to be you, who would you be and why? Oh my god. Who would I be? My quick question, Drizzy Drake. J Lo. Like, can I say more? Ed Sheeran. I don't know. Ed Sheeran. I wish I could sing, so I guess that's yeah, a justifiable answer. Okay, bro. Thank you for everything. Yeah, bro. We're gonna hopefully I'll be seeing Brandon soon, but guys, like I said, his link will be in the description. I have to run. Question from Drag H Dorothy, I think. Favorite Gymshark athlete, it has to be the OGs, Ogus and Lovato. It's a dream to meet. Alright, we're at the Turkey Airport. Let's see if I can answer some, some more questions for you guys. I'm a bit tired, but it should be cool. Okay. Question from Stephen Denny. If you could choose to train with any bodybuilder, past or present, who would you choose 
them. P.S. Keep up the good work, bro. I appreciate it. Let me do past and present. Um, I'm a big fan of the way Chris Jones trains, and I like laughing. I like making jokes. So that's who I train with in the present time. I feel like he would train me hard, would train hard, and then it would be jokes at the same time. And then in the past, I think Arnold, just because he's he's the like the father of bodybuilding kind of. I leave medicine to be a full-time YouTuber? No, because if I leave medicine, then YouTube kind of loses its purpose. So as you guys can see, I am back from the UK, back in my dorm room. I'm gonna answer one more question before I wrap up the Q and A. I'm gonna pick the winner. So let me see. Uh, is Russia cold? No, Russia is not cold. Okay, quick one, quick one. Okay, there's year one in Russian. I'll read in Russian and then I'll translate it to you guys in English. Привет, Mike. Hi, Mike. What do you think about David Lade? Что ты думаешь про Дэвид Лейд и Стивен Кау? Как ты относишься к стероидам? So what do you think about steroids? Будешь ли ты садиться на clean bulking или dirty bulking? Do I prefer clean bulking or dirty bulking? Um, or do you, or, или ты хочешь быть всегда сухим? So do you, do you always just want to be normal? Какой у вас so what is your height and weight? And then the last question, he says, И последний вопрос, будешь ли ты жить в России после окончания университета? Спасибо за внимание. Твой видео просто класс. So thank you for your attention and your videos are awesome. Thank you, Budjdev. Budjdev, that's a good answer. That's a good question. Um, my thoughts on David Lade and Stephen Cow. Um, euphoric. <laughs> in short, like jokes aside, I think they're awesome individuals. I can tell David's an intelligent guy, just because like he speaks a number of languages, and I've just, like, you can just hear by his like his dialect. He's an intelligent guy. Stephen Cow, amazing physique. They're both awesome YouTubers. That is my thought on them, and nothing more, nothing less. Um, so what are, what are my thoughts on steroids? I really don't mind if you use steroids. That is completely on you. So that is the end of the Q and A. Now I'm gonna pick the winner, as you guys can see right here that all the names are loaded so I will pick a winner scroll it once and boom that is where my hand fell and the winner is sign 90, 1992 so right there let's see that focuses sign 1992 you have exactly 48 hours to see me message me on Instagram DM, DM me your name and your address congratulations on the hoodie you just need to give me your size name address you have 48 hours guys I'm gonna keep on doing this as much as I can I just need to be able to thank you guys so that is the end of the video leave the video a like if you did enjoy it there's another video coming out on Sunday or Monday, one of my best ones. So click the little bell so you get a notification. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.